everybody, Rich the Medic here, and welcome back to World War Wednesday, playing as the German Reich. Reich? Reich? Whatever. Hey, we've got an army of 186 divisions. We are now waiting for our national focus to complete to see if we can taste annex Yugo Yugoslavia. And then the games are going to begin, because then we'll do Danzig or War, and... We'll go after Poland. However, we may have a slight problem since they're improving relations with the UK. And God knows the UK may decide to um, promise them. What are you doing? I eh, really wish you wouldn't do that. But we are slowly getting them to come around to our way of thinking. Very slowly. Oh, France has turned completely fascist. Who's their leader now? <laughs> Patain? Really? But they're still in an alliance with these guys. What the heck? How can you be an ally and be fascist? Well, that didn't work quite as I'd planned. Well, well, you know. Oh, wait. We got lots more research we can do. Let's see. What is it? 1940? Yay. So. Nothing we can do there. Could do a little bit there, but we're not using any of this. Ooh. Oh my lord. Yeah, definitely. Taking you. What we got going on over here I can jump on. You're a little too way ahead of time, but I think we can take you. And we'll take better radar here too. Okay, how are we doing on production numbers? Okay, let's let's slow you down there, Mussolini bud. So I am now stockpiling motorized. How our numbers look. Tanks are looking better. So let's times five you and build you out which means I'm going to want more military factories to make making tanks a little easier for us and after we do this round then we're gonna do infrastructure upgrades uh, I think it's time to tell the Dutch to come play our game Mifo bills Uh, let's take this off pause while I wait for the rest of those armies to pop out. Looks like Hungary is not as hungry as, well, Romania was. Which is perfectly okay. I'm more than a little okay with that. Um. Nope. I'm taking it all. Oh. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt a lot. Um. You know, we'll go ahead and do this. Feta Yugoslavia. So that worked out really well for us in general. I mean, I have not lost a troop, and look at how much of Europe that we have taken. I'm now lined up to attack Italy with ease, Bulgaria. You're not involved in this over here, so... As soon as we deal with Greece, we're going to do Danzig or War. I hope that they don't get guaranteed. Ooh, something happened. Did I? No. Oh, Leon Trotsky got himself murderized. That's unfortunate. Well, United States, how do you feel about giving me more supplies? Thank you. You don't seem to like your com your order. Why? Plan value of zero? Really? 
Well, guess what? You're not going to have as much trouble as you think you are. Hunt and destroy. Boy, we're burning through these air doctrines really, really quickly, which makes me happy. Wow, more civilian factories? Really? Well, I don't even know what to do with you guys. How are we doing over here? Oh, you know what? Infrastructure. Infrastructure, as you can see, we get 24 aluminum. If we max out our infrastructure in some of these places, we will get more resources like steel. Steel and aluminum. Aluminum. More aluminum. Might as well just max it all out because this stuff builds ridiculously quickly. Oh, look at this. Steel, cobalt, plus 49 aluminum just there. Holy good grief. Mexico's going after Panama. Is that everything? I think that's everything. So yeah, we'll just... Since we're not really going to war, I see no reason not to max out our infrastructure. Um, six divisions, you're gonna go there. China joined the Soviet Union. What? in Bulgaria. Japan wants docking rights. Sure. I got no problem with that because um, Danzig of War. Huh. Well, that's not any good. Do I have any access to Greece? No. That's okay. I don't care about puppeting them anyway. I really don't see the point. I've never seen that happen, but... Oh, no. I didn't want to do that. Oh, good God. Okay. What you hear... You here, you here, you here. Click on you guys, give you an army group, select your commander. Who did I give you? I gave you a modal before. God, I hate when I do that. I'll give you him. And then I'm going to put you down here so I can make eat more easily track where my troops are. Okay, so now we have no, no troops in training. I have no military power or political power. It's going to go out so slowly. Mexico is basically eating Central America, which good for them. Ooh. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I've got 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that's 624. And where am I going to... You know what? We'll just have you guys stop at Berlin. We can have a big parade. And then you can go off to war. How's that sound? In the meantime, we're making better tanks. And we have research to do. Oh, let's see. Where are we going to go with this? You're all done. 
You're getting done. You know what? Better fighters. What do I got for fighters in reserve? I got 2,000 fighters. Uh, not bad. I'll take it. You can go away. I know that you're an issue. But you're already fascist, so we're going to cancel this anyway. Crew in Romania. Uh, are you fascist? No. Now here's the question. Why are they friendly with each other? I wonder if I can invite you to faction. Nope. Not going to guarantee your independence either. Yeah, you guys are having a bad day. And I haven't gone into a war yet. Four episodes we in, and we have not had any kind of a war. But I have a feeling Poland is going to resist. They usually will not give up dancing. Why, I don't know. It seems like it would make the most sense for them to do that. But... There's no accounting for taste in a lot of cases. And the only reason I want all this is because I want to eliminate the Soviet Union. And once we're done with this, then I'm going to take out, try to take out Italy. How's Italy doing for troops? 154. Ooh. They're losing planes somewhere. Hmm. I'll take it. Uh, no and no. No. Are you being guaranteed? No. No, you're not. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to take a minute One, two, three, four. I'm going to put a thousand fighters there. What do I got for close air support? Two, three, four, five, six. Six close air support there. You guys are going to do this and this and here. One, two. We'll use old aircraft there. We will give you some close air support. Two, three, four, five, six. And do I have any other airports I can use? This one. You're going to be all fighters. Let's see. You can take 600. So, you guys can go here. You're going to go here. It's 2,000, 2,000. Air superiority here. That should make things go a little easier for us. And with any luck, with all these troops, Latvia is called in. We should just raffle stop them. Liberia joins the Allies. Ireland joins the Allies. Why is everybody joining the Allies? Yeah, no, absolutely. I'll take divisions from you. Yeah, you can go to hell. Why are you sending me volunteers? 
when you're in the Allies and I'm ruffle stomping Poland. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, Lithuania finally got called in, so now we can go ruffle stomp all of them. Wow, looks like they're fighting back. Oh, I don't think that's an all bad bad thing, honestly. Oh, well, Britain's catching up to me. That's not good. Um, Naval rearmament works for me. We've got more radar, so let's... I think I like that and that. Because those are going to be quick. Dockyards. We are at war with just about everybody on this side of the world, but that's okay. Hmm. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, you're kind of cut off, boys. Let's, um... Let's not screw around. Just go stomp them. Six, seven, eight. That's going to be an easy overrun. They're cut off from the port. They have no supply. Yep, there we go. I don't know why you guys are taking so long to get up in here. And I don't know why you guys are not doing your job. Right. Naval rearmament is done, so we'll go with naval effort. Ah, Warsaw finally fell, so Poland will, Poland will topple over here pretty soon. I'm not even having to use my naval power. I didn't think Poland would take this long to do, but... So we're going to take all of you and turn. Lithuania, take all states. Latvia, take all states and turn. I didn't get you, though, and I wanted you. Okay, so let's slow down. So that was a very easy take. Uh, Hungary and Italy, no. I have a war goal. You're still coming. I have no template for mechanized equipment, which I already knew. I'm letting England overtake me, which I'm not happy about. But look at how nice we look here. And you're... Having a fine old time over here. And I lost like no troops. So, do we want to take over Italy? Who do the British think they are? Well, I don't know who they think they are, but. Oh, Manchuko. Interesting. What are we looking like over here? You guys haven't flipped yet, but Winston Churchill's going to have a bad, bad day. So you're at war with Hungary. You're not being guaranteed, and you're, you're no faction. You're no faction. Bulgaria, you're not aligned, but you gave the Japanese docking rights? Where? Why would the Japanese need docking rights in Bulgaria when they have no access to the Black Sea? Okay, well, guys, we're going to leave this episode here. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the series. Um, we are in good shape. I think the next thing we're going to think about tackling is the Russians. 
My military is not quite on a par with them, but that's something that we can fix relatively short order. As soon as I get some political power, I can change my conscription laws again. In the meantime, we may try to take Italy. But guys, for now, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks, as always, for coming along for the ride. And um, remember to click that subscribe and that like button. Hit the bell icon to know when new episodes go up. Yeah. We're doing good. Anyway, this is Rich the Medic. I'm out of here. <laughs>